and boom, there we have a satay sauce. Woo! Everybody's talking about hot girl summer, hot girl summer, hot girl summer. And I'm like, can we just do my body's okay? I have a banging personality and I'll bring the snack summer. Can anyone tell me why Food TikTok is not number one on the platform? Those top dance creators, all they do is take dances from other people. Meanwhile, I'm in the kitchen all day cooking different dishes, new flavors. Where is the love at for Food TikTok? I'm about to start dancing though. They're making money. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check, give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me. Happy Easter guys. So every time I make a trip down to SoCal, I have to hit up Moranga Korean Barbecue and Garden Grove. They have some of the best Korean barbecue in the business. And check out this kaibi. I mean look at the marbling on that thing. It's just super fatty, it's tender and it melts in your mouth. And the food here is just super clean and it feels very home. So yeah, make sure to check it out. What's something that you can eat every single day and not get tired of? And I'm not talking about something that you eat sometimes that you just love. Like I'm talking about something that you're disgustingly obsessed with and that you could actually eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and never get sick of and never want anything else to eat except for this exact item. I want to see videos of you eating this food. I want to see pictures of this food. I want to see your camera rolls consumed with this food. I want to see Would you believe me if I told you this was vegan? Let's get this. What does the buffalo say when it sees an attractive female? Buff. Hello. <laughs> no, 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 that is the worst joke I've ever told in my life. In, in today's recipe, we're doing a buffalo chicken burger. But instead of chicken, we're using a pretty cool little ingredient called vital wheat gluten. Once you've made your vital wheat gluten into a dough, steam it for about 45 minutes and make sure it's fully cooled. Then you're going to want to cut it into chicken-like shapes. Then put it into some vegan buttermilk, which is basically almond milk and a squeeze of lime. Once that's done, get it fried off like it's Hyde Park in April till it's golden. Smother it in some of that buffalo sauce that I'm going to teach you how to make later, of course. And now the fun commences. Hit the bun with a little bit of vegan ranch, some of that chicken, more ranch, some herbs. And oh my god. Don't eat past 8 o'clock, right? Okay, now look, hear me out. Why is there a light bulb in the fridge if we're not supposed to eat past 8 o'clock? Uh.
Right, TikTok, I need your help. The other day I was cutting onions and this happened. I literally cried so much I thought I was going to have to go to the doctors. So if anybody knows any weird or wonderful tips and tricks to how to stop my eyes feeling like a couple fireballs, comment it down below and I'll try it out. <laughs> Hit me with your best one. You know what I hate? When you're like, I'm about to go eat and someone's like, didn't you just eat? Like, okay. If you want to eat too, just say that. You being a hater for what? Alright, have a seat, take a breath and relax. This might be one of the most requested recipes that I've ever done on my channel so far. They're called creme brulee donuts. The abundance of cream mixed with that crunch of the sugary top is what makes these donuts stand out. Ooh. And with views like that, it might even tempt you to give your ex a ring back. Oh my goodness. Enjoy. Alright, so with the success of my last two videos, I think I'm going to start something called Will It Wellington? The idea is I take your food suggestions and see if I can make a Wellington out of it. And in today's episode, we've got a bit of an interesting one. Birthday cake. This is constructed of a cake filled with sprinkles, rolled in royal icing, then wrapped in pastry. I can't lie, the look of it didn't come out quite as I was expecting, but it actually tasted pretty good. I'd make this again. 8 out of 10.
You must follow food TikTok. Knowing how to make food from a box is not good enough. Knowing how to order food online is not impressive. Come to food TikTok and I will show you how to cook such a Don't eat past 8 o'clock, right? Okay, now look, hear me out. Why is there a light bulb in the fridge if we're not supposed to eat past 8 o'clock? Oh. Don't eat past 8 o'clock, right? Okay, now look, hear me out. Why is there a light bulb in the fridge if we're not supposed to eat past 8 o'clock? I hear it all the fucking time on Instagram and TikTok and whatever. Meat is too raw. It's not done enough. I can still hear it mooing. Fuck off. This is the way I want it. This is the way I'm going to get it. You fucking love well done. Go ahead and eat your leather. Fine. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life, aka Veganuary. Today we're kicking it off with an absolute beauty of a recipe called a vegan po' boy burger. Boom. Now, this eighth wonder of the world came about in the 1930s in America, New Orleans to be more specific. Now, I don't know how they came about, but I'm just glad they did. Pairing it with a slightly spicy harissa mayonnaise, so if you want to know how to make that, check out my previous video. These po' boys are more traditionally made with shrimp, but since we're doing the vegan thing, you're going to want to swap that shrimp out for some beautiful oyster mushrooms. You're going to want to fry them off like it's Hyde Park in April until they're looking golden. And now it's time to make this burger. Hit the bun with a little bit of that spicy mayo, some crunchy coleslaw, and of course our succulent little, mmm, little bit of tomato. Can't forget the herbs, obviously. And that, my friend, 
Oh my goodness. I'm a complete foodie, guys. I don't know if anybody else is a foodie here. Yeah, we have foodies in the audience. Oh my God, yes. I am such a foodie, I get mad when I get full. I don't know if anybody else goes through that. <laughs> the second I'm full. No! Why you trying to eat my food? You can go get your own food. I don't want your fingers in my food. I'm a really hungry dude. Promise I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just not a fan of sharing. Can anyone tell me why Food TikTok is not number one on the platform? Those top dance creators, all they do is take dances from other people. Meanwhile, I'm in the kitchen all day cooking different dishes, new flavors. Where is the love at for Food TikTok? You know what I hate? When you're like, I'm about to go eat, and someone's like, didn't you just eat? Like, okay. If you want to eat too, just say that. You being a hater for what? I am about to attempt the world's longest sheesh. So I just got out of the doctor's and he goes, don't eat anything fatty. And I go, like what, burgers and fries? And he goes, no, fatty, don't eat anything. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm screaming! Stop, this looks amazing. Should I start a food Instagram? Ah, uh, you probably come here for the brownies. Now, just be warned, one bite of these bad boys and they'll have you dancing like a Muppet. <laughs> hey look, yes they're vegan, yes they've got mayonnaise in them, and yes they're brownies. Three words I would normally never put together, but somehow it just works. I started off by mixing my dry ingredients with my wet ingredients and it looks something like that. Now the full recipe's on my Instagram, but once that was done, I chucked it in the oven and then had a little taste of the caramel from yesterday's recipe. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Once the brownies were done, they came out looking fudgy and thick and brown. Everything I looked for in a girl. I mean, <laughs> what? And um, Yeah, that's it. Welcome to the first ever episode of Fuck That's Vegan, where we cook food that will make you say, Fuck, that's vegan. 
On today's recipe, we're making some chicken wings. <laughs> Obviously not your average. The star ingredient in this recipe is jackfruit. To get this started, I marinated up some jackfruit and then fried it off. Once you've got some nice color on it, hit it with some stock. And to be honest, at this point, it'd be really good for like a pie or something like that. Once your mixture's had time to cool down, stick it inside some rice paper. This is gonna act like our chicken skin. After that, you wanna pané it up. Now, pané is just a fancy word for saying breadcrumb. You need a little bit of milk, some breadcrumbs, and some flour. Fry that off like it's 420, and whoo -hoo, it should come out looking crazy. To finish it off, I hit it with a little bit of vegan mayo, some barbecue sauce, hot sauce, herbs, spices, lemon, and of course, that smoke. So I heard you wanna make fries that are longer than your head. Mm, you come to the right place. Welcome to Fuck That's Vegan, where we cook food that will make you say, fuck, that's vegan. In today's episode, we're turning mashed potatoes into French fried potatoes. I guess I can sort of relate to how Jesus must have felt when he turned water into wine. Once your potatoes are chopped, cooked and mashed, it's time for some seasoning. I chose some turmeric for the color, cornstarch for the crispiness, and some veg stock cubes just cause, pff, why not? Once you've got your fries shaped off, fry them off like it's 420, and now it's time for the crunch test. Tell me you like chicken wings without telling me you like chicken wings. <laughs>